Hey everyone, it's Mr. Hong, and I'm going to show you today how to make a cob on Photoshop. What is a cob? A cob is not something you eat. Um, it is an acronym for cut out background, and you use it a lot for some of your projects or your yearbook pages and things like that. So, first thing we want to do is we want to open our file. So, go to File, and then we're going to create a new Photoshop file. So, click on New. Um, I wanted to make it eight and a half by eleven. So if you go to U.S. Paper on the preset, and then they have different sizes: letter, legal, tabloid. We want it to be letter, so it's eight and a half by eleven. Your resolution sometimes it's seventy-two. That's good if you're going to just post it on the web. But for printing purposes, you want to have it at least three hundred. And you probably want to switch your color to CMYK if you're going to print it out as well. And then click OK. And here is our nice letter-sized page. Now I'm going to open up some of the pictures that I downloaded yesterday. So go to File, go to Open, and find where you saved your files. It's already open in my Cobb folder. Um, I'm going to open up a picture of Iron Man. And I could open multiple files at once by holding down the Command key on my Mac. So I'm also going to open up the picture of Kobe, and then a picture of a night sky, and then click Open while I'm holding down Command. So it clicks and selects more than one. So here's my nice night sky. I want to copy this and put it over here onto my blank page. So in order to select everything, you press Command A. That selects everything on this image. And you see how there is a selection of the dotted lines going around my entire night sky. To copy it is Command C is a shortcut key. And then to paste it, is you go back to your other file and then click on Command V, which is paste. And then it's a little bit small, so let's make it bigger. To change the size of it, we want to transform it, which is Command T for transform. And then you hold down Shift before you change it, because if you don't hold down Shift, um, you see as I res resize it, it keeps the same proportions when I hold down Shift. But if I let go of Shift, guess what? I could stretch it. I could make it look weird. So you always want to hold down Shift when you're resizing any kind of image. It'll retain the proportions that originally it came with. And it looks a little bit pixelated, but that's okay because after I press enter, it should kind of um, go back to its regular resolution. So here I can move it around using my move tool. I kind of want the moon over to the right, so we'll scoot it over a bit. Okay, now we're gonna cut out a picture of Iron Man and stick them on my night sky. So here's Iron Man. Um, one thing that you want to do is go to your layers palette. If you can't find your layers palette on your screen, you want to go to window and then find layers and then click it so it'll appear. Um, they always lock your images when you first open them because they don't want you to mess them up. So we, you grab the lock and you drag it to the trash can and now it changes it to layer zero. So now we can manipulate it. So there's a lot of different ways to do a cob. Okay, so there's no one way to do it. Um, I'll show you a couple of ways to do it. Um, for this image, because it has a nice white background, um, we could use what's called the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool will select pixels of the same color range. So if I click on the white background, like so, you see how it selected all the white pixels? Now what I can do is I can simply press delete and it gets rid of all of the white background. Um, now, if I just want to select the Iron Man, what I can do is go to Select at the top and click on Inverse, and now it selects just Iron Man himself, and then I can copy him. Um, the shortcut key is Command C, but if you want to go the long way, you can go to Edit and then Copy, and then go back to my Night Sky, and then I'm going to paste him, and again, if you want to go the long way, it's Edit, Paste, which is Command V. And now I have my Iron Man, so I can move him around. Um, I can make him bigger, again, by transforming him. Command T is to transform. Hold down Shift, and I make, can make him bigger or smaller. I could also rotate him, so if I want him flying upside down or sideways or at an angle, I'll put him at an angle, like so. And after I'm done, press Enter, and now I have Iron Man flying through the air. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut out a different picture that doesn't have a uniform background. I can't use a magic wand tool because if I select it, guess what? It doesn't have all the same color range. So 
if I select something, I might get parts of it, but not all of it. So the magic wand tool would not be a good one to use for this. Um, instead, what we can use are the magnetic lasso tool, which if you hold and click and hold on the lasso tool, it should pop up. So click on magnetic lasso tool. What this one also does, it kind of sees the pixels and it kind of helps you guide um, your cursor over it. But you have to click while you're doing it. So you kind of say, okay, this is where I want it to click and it'll help make a line go around your image, okay? For time's sake, I'm just gonna do it very quickly. Um, yours will be more accurate than mine, but I'm just gonna kind of speed along here. So you don't just look at me clicking, but as you can see, it kind of helps guide my cursor around the image. Also, this isn't a very good image to cob because you see Kobe's arm gets cut off and covered by the defender right here. So he's actually going to be missing a hand, unfortunately, but that's okay. Kobe's gone through worse. And then when you get back to where you started from, you click on the original starting point. And, then, and when you finish it, you're going to see that it makes a selection around Kobe. So again, I can copy it, Command C, go back to my night sky and Command V and paste in Kobe. And now we have Kobe versus Iron Man flying in the sky. Okay. Um, say I didn't get a very accurate selection using the lasso tool. Um, I could use something else. I, this one I prefer to use because it's more accurate. It's called the pen tool. Um, what it does, it makes uh, free hand straight lines. So I can click and drag and make a line. Okay, but there's a certain way you have to do this. After you make a line, you're going to see it makes two anchor points. You want to hold down Alt and click on the middle of the anchor point to get rid of it. The reason why we do this is because if I don't click Alt and uh, click on the anchor point, the next line that I create will automatically be curved and we don't want that to happen. Um, again, your favorite shortcut key is going to be undo and to undo anything is command Z. So it'll always undo the last thing that I did or redo the last thing that I did. So if I press Alt, get rid of the anchor point, then I can click and drag, Alt, anchor point, click and drag, hold down Alt, anchor point, click and drag, Alt, anchor point, you do have to get used to doing this because um, it's a lot of clicking and dragging and alting and getting rid of the anchor points. So you you know it does take some practice. So don't get discouraged if it's not easy at, at first. So click, drag, alt, anchor point. Click, drag, alt, anchor point. Click, drag, alt, anchor point. If I don't click and drag and I just click, it'll make a straight line. So. Keep that in mind if there's any straight edges that you need to make. Um, for time's sake, I'm not going to go around and do the whole thing. What I can do is I already made a path around Kobe right here. I saved it. You can save any paths that you make. So I'm going to click on that. And now you see there's a line that goes around Kobe. Then what I can do is I can click right here on my path palette and make that path into a selection. So click on make selection and then click on OK. And now it made a selection for my Kobe. And then again, copy, paste. And now I have two Kobe's flying around Iron Man. OK, so that's a couple of ways you can do cobs on Photoshop. Um, you know, there's like I said, there's a million different ways you can create a cob, but those are just some of the tools that you could use to to make it. Remember to always use Photoshop for good and not evil, and I hope you make some cobs for your projects that you work on. Thanks.